Juried show is open in the Hub City that's being described as the high school state championship for art. Alan Scott was in attendance and has a story from the Aberdeen Newsroom. Referred to as the art equivalent to sports state championships at the Aberdeen Recreation and Cultural Center, 140 students from 17 schools throughout South Dakota convened to be able to show their works. This is the 28th year of the show. The Dakota Prairie Museum organizes it. Their director is Patricia Kendall. The artwork is professionally judged and actually the judges get a chance to speak to the students and ask them about their artwork. Why did you do this? What was the inspiration? And maybe give them a little bit of feedback, which is great. Then the judges pick a best of show. They pick a best in each uh, media category. We have seven of them. This is a two day event. So what else is on the agenda? The students during the day, they have a judging session, but they also get to go to three different workshops with professional artists. Uh, this year we have leather tooling, paper making, and mono printing with blocks. Another person who has a long time association with the Dakota Student Art Exhibition is Barb Newman. Despite involvement over all these years, listen to the awe in her voice. Oh, amazing artwork. I, I just think it gets better every single year. I'm, I'm totally blown away at the talent of some of these young people and hopefully they'll be going into some sort of area of art um, or enjoy it the rest of their life. They're very inspiring, not only for when I was teaching my students, but they're, they're inspiring to me. Avant-garde was judged to be best in show. It was done by Natasha Katerabek of the Northwestern Area High School in Millette. This led her team to be named number one overall. Admittedly, a little bit late in the day to be able to see the open exhibition tonight from four until eight o'clock this evening, but mark it down for next year. This is an outstanding art display by high school students throughout South Dakota. In Aberdeen, Alan Scott, Dakota News Now.